magandang hapon po sa lahat. Welcome po sa ating episode 12 at nandito pa rin po tayo sa ating teaching tool series that mainly focuses on the different Google Suite apps which we can use for learning and teaching. So for our episode 12 today, we will be highlighting two other apps, two other Google Suite apps that are very essential, especially now that we have a lot of virtual commitments, um, virtual meetings, virtual events, lahat na naka-online. And soon, kapag ka nag-open na po ng classes, magkakaroon ng online classes. So, ito po yung mga ginagamit natin. Google Meet. So, an app that will be useful for us to have conferences and meetings virtually. And the other one, dahil marami nga tayo masyadong magiging mga virtual commitments, it will be very helpful to maximize the use of what we call Google Calendar. In order for us to organize and um, do not miss any event that is scheduled. Siyempre, di ba? We have to learn also how to prioritize different events. So for today, um, in our episode, our speaker, trainer, actually volunteered his time and effort to share his skill, who is also a Google Certified Educator. He expressed his willingness to share in our community um, what he has learned also during his Google Certification Training. So, today, we have a trainer slash speaker who is a junior high school faculty from Xavier School, a Google Certified Educator, an Apple teacher, and also a lecturer from Ateneo de Manila University. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to introduce our speaker for today, Mr. Franco Nicolo P. Adon. Okay, magandang araw at welcome sa ating webinar uh, tungkol sa Google for Education Tools. Para sa araw nito, pag-uusapan natin ay ang Google Calendar, isa sa mga Google for Education Tools para tulungan kayo mag-organize ng inyong events, reminders, at tasks. Lalo na siguro sa panahon na ito na napakadami natin kailangang isipin at gawin, uh, mahalaga na na-organize natin ang ating mga tasks um, in one space. At ang Google Calendar ay isang powerful tool para matulungan kayong i-organize ang mga tasks and events ninyo. At para simulan, uh, ito ang ating mga gagawin para sa um, webinar na ito. Locating Google Calendar, creating events in Calendar, creating and subscribing to Calendars, sharing Calendars, setting notifications, uh, using Calendar in class. Of course, napakahalaga na alamin natin kung paano nga ba makakatulong ang isang uh, technology or um, application para sa ating pagtuturo. At para simulan, ay pumunta tayo sa um, Google Calendar. Okay. So, meron dalawang access point ang Google Calendar natin. Maaari tayong pumunta sa directly to the page. Uh, I-search lamang sa inyong Google Search, Google Calendar, or uh, sa inyong Omnibox, uh, itype ang calendar.google.com at pupunta na kayo sa inyong Google Calendar. Mag-sign in lamang gamit ang inyong Gmail um, kung saan nakalink ang inyong Google Calendar. Ang isa pang access point um, para sa um, Google Calendar ay uh, via your Gmail. Okay. Um, dahil nga siya, ang, is, ang Google Calendar ay isa din sa mga uh, seamlessly integrated tool uh, uh, ng Google um, uh, for Education Tools. Uh, maaari rin ma-access ang Google Calendar gamit ang iba pang uh, Google for Education Tools tulad ng Gmail. So kapag binuksan natin ang ating Gmail, makikita natin sa right side panel ang ating Google Calendar. Okay, meron niyang icon na makikita sa upper right corner. Okay. Uh, yan. Okay. So, pag-clinic mo yan, ipapakita nito sa iyo ang summary ng events mo, uh, tasks or reminders um, for the month. Okay. Uh, mula din dito sa um, access point na ito uh, ng iyong Google Calendar, ay makaka-create ka ng event. So, sa lower right, okay, makita mo yung plus, create an event. So, from there, you can already create an event uh, into your calendar or add an event into your calendar. 
Ngunit, para sa webinar na ito, para mas ma-explore natin ang uh, functions and uh, settings ng Google Calendar, ay i-open natin to sa um, page ng Google Calendar. Okay, so para gawin yan, sa upper right corner, i-click lamang ang Open in New Tab. So pag-click mo yan, ay dadaling ka nito sa inyong Google Calendar. Ngayon, um, wala namang pinagkaiba masyado uh, to your usual uh, calendar. You, you still have your dates, your months, uh, and all other um, um, visuals of a calendar. Uh, maaari mong palitan ang iyong um, view mode. So, maaari kang by month, okay, or by day, uh, by week, or by, ma by year. Pwede rin by schedule um, of your scheduled events, or every four days. Um, why? Um, para lang mas madali mong ma-organize or makita yung mga events mo. But for me personally, I prefer na naka-month yung view mode ko. Okay. Now, uh, your current day is always marked as blue para mas madali mo siya makita. Now, to create an event, um, meron kang dalawang option on to create an event, on how to create an event. Um, so, una, sa left, upper left corner, okay, makita mo ang create button. Okay. Okay. So, pag clinic mo yan, okay, uh, magkakaroon ng pop-up window kung saan uh, mag-create ka ng details ng event mo. Okay? Maaari din na mag-click ka ng isang date, particular date, kung saan mo gustong gawin yung event na yan. For example, uh, gagawa tayo ng event sa June 18. So, i-click lamang ang date na yan at automatically magkakaroon ka ng uh, pop-up window um, kung saan mo ilalagay ang detalye. So, maaring dito mo nagawin yung detalye mo, ilagay ang pangalan at iba pang mga detalye. But, uh, for our sake, um, um, puntahan natin yung more options kung saan mas makakustomize natin yung event natin. Ngayon, um, so, una natin gawin ay pangalan ng ating event. Okay, so title. So, for example, it's a, a meeting. Uh, maaari mo iset ang iyong event as an all-day event. Okay, so maaari mo i-click ang all-day uh, event na yan uh, para sabihin na it's an all-day event. So, it's whole day. Wala siyang time limit. Um, kung gusto mo naman na merong uh, time frame, okay, i-unclick mo lamang yan. Okay, at uh, lalabas na yung option to put uh, a time. So, for example, baguhin natin to Gawin natin 9.30 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. So, it's an one-hour meeting. Um, maari mo rin um, iset kung ito ba ay repeating event. Okay. So, for example, kung ito ay isang meeting na usually happens every day, so maari mo siyang iset on a daily basis, or it's a meeting that happens every Thursday, um, or every third Thursday, or annually every June 18, or every weekday, maari mo yung iset. Okay, pero dahil ito ay isolated meeting naman, for example, pwede mo siyang iset as does not repeat. Okay? Uh, isa pa sa mga gandang karagdagan sa Google Calendar ay kapag nag-set ka ng event, ay maaari ka nang gumawa ng isang Google Meet link. Okay, so, pwede mo yung i-click lamang ang Add Google Meet Video Conferencing at mag-generate ng Google Meet link uh, si Google uh, para sa iyong meeting. Okay? At um, kapag natanggap ng mga guests mo ang email tungkol sa event na to, um, they will also receive the Google Meet link kung saan pwede, kang, pwede silang sumali at mag-video uh, mag conferencing. Pero pakitandaan na meron kang uh, 100 participants limit para sa uh, every conference na gagawin mo. Maaari mo rin iset ang uh, location okay? and um, notifications. Okay? So, tanggalin muna natin ito. Okay. Uh, para mamakita nyo na pwede kayo mag-add. So, sa so notifications, ito ay notifications uh, para sa iyo at sa mga guests mo um, to notify them and remind them about um, their uh, the event that you set up, set up for all of you. So, for example, yung una ting option is uh, notification. Okay, so they will be notified 30 minutes before the event. Pwede mo yung baguhin, pwede hours, days, um, weeks, or um, hours. Okay. For, for this one, it's uh, 30 minutes. 
pwede ka ring mag-add ng notification pa. Okay? Um, so, pwede mong iset yan as an email. Okay? Um, set na din sa email. Okay? That they will be notified. Now, let's just put one day. So, big sabihin, all your participants, including you, will receive an email one day before the event. Do you want more notifications? You can add more uh, notifications here. Um, you want more emails to be sent to them, just like, for example, like um, two hours before the meeting. Uh, but of course, I do not suggest that uh, it will uh, bombard your participants. Okay? You can also delegate a particular event to a particular calendar. So you just click here. For example, I'm delegating it to definitely my personal calendar. You'll we'll see that later. Uh, as we explore the different calendars that we have and subscribing to different calendars. You can also change um, your colors okay, um, for that particular event. Okay. Uh, I like um, changing colors of events according to the type of event uh, to organize my events. Okay, So I have, for example, a color for work, which is yellow. So for example, let's set that as yellow. Um, I also have a color for um, personal work. Okay, or uh, teamworks, okay? um, so that whenever I see my calendar, okay, I would automatically see that there are events for my work and there are events for my personal um, life um, or works uh, within my team, etc. Okay, so it would be helpful if you can like um, delegate a particular color to a particular event, type of event. Okay? Now, another option that you can put into your event is to a description. Okay, so you can like type in your, for example, it's a meeting, you can type in your agenda or the things you're going to talk about. Plus, you can actually attach a file. Okay, so if it's a meeting, for example, and there's a material you want them to read before the meeting, you can actually attach that, for example. So let's attach this PDF. Okay, uh, and anyone from your guests uh, will also receive that. Um, particular document. If it's a Google document as well, you can also do that. Um, but at the end of the creating event, later on, you will see that you'll have to grant them permission to access your Google document. Okay. Now, to the last part of our creating event um, option um, task, um, you have to add your guests. Okay. So, for example, here, I'll be adding my um, my other account, okay, um, my other Gmail account, okay, and you can specify the kind of permission you're going to give them. So it's either modify an event, okay, so if you click that, your participants and guests will have the same um, ability to change, modify your event, change the time, change the date, location, and other details, okay. Um, they may also invite guests and see the guest list, of course. Basically, you're uh, giving them um, control over your event. Okay, so but usually, if I create an event, I usually do not give that permission. I just allow them to invite others if um, they also would like to invite others. But for if, for example, your uh, participants are set and you know already that everyone's on the list, you can also unclick that. Para you, they can't add. Din sila pwede mag-add ng iba pang participants. Okay. Um, you can also hide the guest list from them if you want, but uh, I don't think that's necessary for this meeting. Okay, so if that you're done with your details, so your your event is set. Okay, but what if uh, you'd, you'd like to find out if you have actually a common time with all the participants? Okay, so there's another option that uh, Google Calendar provides you in order to know and find a common time. Okay, so here. Um, beside the event details, okay, there's another option, um, find the time. Okay, so when you click that, okay, it's actually uh, an option to find a common time for the participants. So before you set your meeting uh, and provide specific time, would be nice to know if they are actually available on that time. Okay, so when you click find the time, it will show you, okay, um, when the event is about to be created. Okay, so it's June 18. So it's going to show you the calendar of the persons um, in the guest list, okay, side by side. So here's my other account and here's my another account um, to see if the time 
that has been set for 9.30 okay, to 10.30 a.m. if both are available on that time. And you can see here that uh, there are no events okay, and both are available on this time. Okay. And, um, and now, since you see that they have a common time, you can set actually the meeting there. Okay. Now, just a, um, a very important reminder when you are using find a time option, okay? When you do this, um, it only works if the guests and the hosts, okay, which you are, uh, have a shared calendar. So it means that the guests also share their calendars to you, okay? So if it's not, okay, you won't be able to access their calendar. So uh, one option here is uh, for you to inform your guests to open their calendars and share your calendars to you, which we're going to do later on how to share your calendars, okay? Okay, so when you're done, uh, I'm setting all the things. Uh, you know that it, they're free and the event details are set. You can click um, save, okay? And that um, would ask you once you're done, okay, since you've invited some guests, um, Google Calendar will ask you if you'd like to send them an email Okay, to remind them about the meeting or to inform them about the meeting. So, of course, we'd like to send them a, uh, an email. So, send. Okay. Now, your event has been created. Okay. So, here, 9.30 um, to 9.30 a.m. meeting. Okay. So, your first event has been created in your calendar. Okay. Um, so we'll take a short break um, for um, this uh, webinar, okay, uh, take a short um, CR break or water break, uh, and we'll continue later uh, with other settings, um, with your other calendars, um, subscribing to calendars, um, sharing your calendars, and uh, other functionalities of um, Google Calendar. Welcome back, uh, participants. Um, sana ay nakapagpahinga kayo or nakapag-water break or CR break kayo. Kanina, napag-usapan natin uh, ang paggawa o pag-create ng events sa Google Calendar at il ilang mga iba pang settings. Ngayon naman, tingnan natin kung paano mag-subscribe at i-manage ang inyong mga calendars. Okay, so, pagtimingin tayo sa ating left side panel ng ating Google Calendar, makikita mo ang list of my calendars. So, pag-clinic mo yan, uh, ipapakita nito ang mga events sa loob ng iyong Google Calendar. So, by default, lahat ng events na ginagawa mo um, ay nilalagay or will be placed sa loob ng iyong personal Google Calendar. Okay? Um, unless specified na ito ay mapupunta sa ibang calendar. Okay? 
pansinin din na meron akong dalawang uh, calendars dito na ang title ay class sample at demo class. At tama ang iniisip mo, yan ay mga calendars sa loob ng aking Google Classroom. Um, kapag gumawa ka ng Google Class, ay automatic na gumagawa si Google ng Google Calendar para sa class na yun. So, lahat ng deadlines mo, events, uh, reminders na nakaplot sa loob ng iyong Google Classroom ay ipinapasok ni Google sa Google Calendar mo na maaari mong ma-view kasama, kasama ng iba pang mga calendars mo. So, halimbawa, kapag clinic ko ang class sample para makita ko mga events sa loob niyan, ay makikita ko itong mga uh, ulitin natin. Okay. So, makita nyo, uh, pag clinic ko to, lumalabas yung mga events, uh, mga assignments na naka-plot sa loob ng Google Classroom na yun. Um, kapag linik ko yung isa ko pang class, lalabas din yung mga tasks or assignments na nakalagay din sa Google Calendar kasama na naka-integrate sa loob ng Google Classroom na yun. At uh, hindi lang yan, um, meron ka rin mga subscriptions, pwede ka mag-subscribe. So halimbawa dito, nakasubscribe ako sa isa ko pang uh, Google account. Okay? At makikita ko rin ng mga events doon. Okay? Uh, na lahat ng nasa calendar ng account na yun. Okay. So, kapag nag-subscribe kayo sa ibang calendar ng ibang Gmail account, makikita nyo rin ang kanilang um, events. But again, uh, it should have permission from the owner of the calendar. Okay. So, it depends kung bibigyan ka nila ng permission um, to view their calendars or to add their calendars. We'll do that later uh, kung paano mag-add ng calendar. So, unahin muna natin ay paano gumawa ng calendar. So, sa left side panel, meron kang other calendars. I-click lamang ang plus sign para mag-add ng calendars. Okay. So, meron kang iba't ibang mga option how to create or add a calendar. Okay. So, pwede kang mag-subscribe. So, halimbawa, um, gumawa at mag-subscribe tayo sa isang calendar. Okay, so kapag mag-subscribe tayo sa isang calendar, um, kailangan lamang ipasok ang isang um, Gmail account. Okay, so for example, gusto kong i-add ang calendar ng isa ko pang account, which I did already. So, hindi natin um, na ipasok ko na to. Pero, yun lang, kailangan mo lang ang kanyang pangalan um, at um, i-add ang calendar na to. Okay. Okay. So, dahil naka-add na to, uh, ito na yung mga notifications and settings ko para sa calendar na doon. Um, halimbawa, um, i-add ko ang aking calendar sa isa ko pang Gmail account. Okay. Okay, balikan natin. Add calendar. Subscribe to a calendar. Okay. Okay. So, ngayon, kapag nag add ka ng um, calendars, um, depende yung permission settings. So, halimbawa, itong ina ko na calendar ay ang uh, naka-block or naka-private ang kanyang calendar. So, kailangan ko mag-grant nag-request ng access. So, Meron kang tat meron three things na pwedeng mangyari kapag nag-subscribe ka sa calendar. One, kung open ang kanyang calendar, makakapasok ka, katulad ng nangyari dun sa isa kong account. Uh, two, um, pwede kang mag-request for access. Or three, pwede mong sabihan yung may-ari ng calendar to open or invite you to their calendars. Okay? So, that's one. Okay? Um, pwede ka rin mag-create ng new calendar. Okay? So, for example, um, Kagawa ko ng calendar para sa aking department, social science department. Okay, mayroon ka magbigay ng description. Okay, at create calendar. Okay, ngayon, automatic na yun mamaya, lalabas yun sa left side panel mo, yung uh, newly created calendar. At dun mo na rin siya pwedeng i-reconfigure in terms of settings. So, may, may, gagawin natin yun mamaya uh, para alamin kung paano mag-share ng mga calendars. Okay. So, aside from that, um, pwede ka rin mag-browse ng calendars of interest. Okay? So, kung meron ka bang gustong i-add na, kunyari gusto natin i-add ang 
Muslim holidays. Okay? So, na-add na sa calendar mo. So, lahat ng Muslim holidays will be plotted into your calendar as well. Or, pwede ka rin mag-browse ka via Google search okay? ng mga openly public um, calendars. Okay? So, halimbawa, um, meron akong kinuha dito na um, calendar from the website. So, kinopya ko lang kanilang um, okay, uh, website uh, or URL. Okay, so, kapag nakuha mo ang URL na yan, ipasok uh, lamang ang URL okay, and add to calendar. Okay. So, makikita natin yan mamaya sa ating um, left side panel. Okay? Maaari mo rin i-import or i-export ang iyong calendar. So, depende. And uh, kapag i-import mo yan, uh, meron ka lang mga codes, uh, embed codes and uh, URL codes na nakakopyahin. Kapag, kapag naman export, i-download mo ang iyong calendar. So, ngayon, dahil nakapag-add na tayo, makita natin yan sa ating left side panel. So, pansinin, um, ang newly created um, uh, calendar natin, Social Science uh, Department Calendar. Okay? Um, at nag-subscribe din tayo sa Muslim Holidays uh, Calendar and Philippine Holidays in Calendar. Although, by default, um, si, calendar, uh, si Google Calendar ay isinasama na ang holidays ng uh, iyong country by location. So, dahil nadidetect naman ni Google kung ang, ang iyong location, uh, isinasaman niya to sa iyong list of calendars. So, for example, uh, meron ka rin dyan. Although, sa holidays in the Philippines, um, mas general. Okay? Yung kasing sa Philippine holidays, meron yung mas specific. For example, uh, meron kang Philippines in Manila Day, I think. Okay? And of course, yung Philippine Independence. Okay? So, ngayon, nakapag-add ka na ng mga calendars. Okay? And again, pwede mong itagal yan, mga calendars mo. Which ones do you want to see? For example, para lang ma-organize. Okay? I don't want to see other calendars. I only want to see my, my own calendar. Okay? Or my personal calendar. So, you can do that. Um, and then again, you can toggle which ones you would like to see in your calendar. Okay? Now, um, pa sharing your calendar, okay? Um, is also as easy to do, okay? So, what you only need to do is to click on a particular calendar, okay? So, you have a um, option here, okay? So, in a calendar, okay, you see these options for uh, this calendar, okay? You can change the color if you want, okay? So, you can change it to um, different colors depending on how you want to um, tag in terms of color or color tag your calendar. Um, for the settings and sharing, so let's click on the settings and sharing. Okay. Now, so you can change the name. Okay. Um, you can put description. Okay. On your calendar. Okay. Um, you can export. Okay. It, it will download your calendar. You can make it public. Okay. But I don't really suggest that because it will give access to everyone um, into your um, calendar. Okay. You can also get shareable link uh, in order to share your calendar to others. Um, so that's one way of sharing your calendar. Okay. Or to be more specific, you can simply um, add people to your calendar. Okay. So you can click that. Okay. And for example, I'd like to um, okay, invite uh, my other account. Okay, and then send. Okay, and you can before you send, uh, you can specify the permission. Um, so if they, you want them to see all the details, make changes to events, etc., uh, you can specify that to them. Okay, before you send, so that uh, although you can still see and change the permission settings later on, even if you send the, the invitation already. Okay, um, you can also um, specify. Um, the notifications we've set that already earlier. Okay. Um, other notifications for new events, um, changed events, cancelled events. Uh, you can also set them. Um, you can also integrate your calendar to uh, different um, formats. Okay, or embed them into a website. Just copy the embed uh, code. Okay. 
um, and you can also transfer it to other formats like the iCal format okay and of course um, at the bottom okay you can um, delete or remove the calendar although uh, that's also doable um, easily uh, outside of the settings okay so if you want to delete a um, calendar you simply click the x unsubscribe from class sample or something like that it will remove your calendar already okay okay so that's your um ways to share your calendar okay so but, but again just be make be careful on sharing your calendars because it would uh, make sure that you have properly set the settings uh, for permission for Google calendars created by a Google Classroom. Um, please be, take note that all your calendars are automatically shared to all your students enrolled into your Google Classroom. Okay. Now, another um, integration um, between Google um, tools is that here on the right side panel, you can see Google Tasks. Okay? If you click on that, um, it creates a um, uh, events also into your Google Calendar and Google Calendar can also create tasks okay, into your My Tasks. Okay? So for example, if you create an event like um, jog, okay, so your task is to jog, okay? uh, notice that if you create that, nothing will happen to your Google Calendar unless you specify a particular time. For example, I'll be jogging on um, June 13. Okay? I can set the time for that okay? uh, around 5 a.m. And you can, um, when you create that, it will also appear into your calendar. See there? Okay. Um, here. Okay. 5 a.m. jog. Okay. Um, you can edit that. Okay. And make that a repeating task, which also be a repeating event or task within your Google Calendar. Um, same way, if you create a task, okay example let's create here okay a task okay um, read okay so for example there's a reading assignment you'd like to assign to uh, to yourself okay um, it will also ask you if you'd like to uh, it will be put into your my task if you save that okay it will also generate a my task okay so that also uh, allows you to um, be more organize in terms of your tasks, etc. Okay? So, isa pa sa pwede natin gawin upang ma-maximize ang gamit ng Google, Google Calendar ay mag-add ng mga extensions. Okay? So, right now, I have uh, two extensions I added to my Google Calendar. One is what they call Checker Plus. Okay? So, when you click on that extension, uh, it will easily uh, or easy view or access to your Google Calendar regardless where uh, where wherever tab you are okay so for example if i create another tab here i would still have access to that calendar okay if i create another tab i will still have uh, access to that um, calendar okay um, uh, also i also have another extension called um, team cal okay so basically what um, team cal does is it collates your uh, calendars into a horizontal format okay so something like this so just add your calendar and uh, the calendar of your other guests so that you could compare their schedules on a horizontal format okay? therefore making it much more easier to view and schedule meetings with them okay so there are more um, uh, extensions you can explore just uh, go to chrome web store and um, it will give you all the possible extensions that you can use for your Google Calendar. Okay, so I hope that uh, nakatulong at uh, nabigyan linaw natin ang paggamit or the use of Google Calendar. I hope that you will be able to use Google Calendar into your classes and integrate it um, during this um, online distance learning shift.
Okay, welcome sa ating part 2 of our Google for Education Tools webinar series. Kanina pinag-usapan natin ang Google Calendar at ngayon naman pag-uusapan natin ang Google Meet. Okay. So, ang Google Meet ay isang video conferencing tool na ginawa ni Google. Uh, it was before a paid app, okay, but it was open to all uh, Gmail users okay, by Google. Most recently, because maybe of the, the pandemic, to offer more help to educators. Okay. So, para sa part 2 na to, uh, ito yung mga kailangan natin gawin. Locating Google Meet, creating meeting using Google Meet, Google Meet settings and functions uh, using Google Meet in class. Okay. Ngayon, um, to start with, meron kang kailangan natin mag-access sa Google Meet and meron kang dalawang access points sa uh, Google Meet. Papot patungo sa Google Meet. Okay. So, unang access point mo is via your Google Classroom. Although you will notice that not all Google Classroom accounts um, will have a Google Meet link. Okay. So, uh, yun lamang mga gumawa ng Google Classroom gamit ang G Suite account or yung paid Gmail account will have a uh, integrated Google Meet link or function sa loob ng Google Classroom. Um, pero, ang lahat ng Gmail users will have an access to Google Meet via their Gmail. Okay, so, yan ang gawin nating access point. So, pumunta lamang tayo sa ating Gmail. Okay. So, pagbukas ng ating Gmail account, um, right away, sa left side panel, makikita mo ang dalawang option. So, meron kang Meet. Okay, so, madali siya makita. And meron kang dalawang option to start a meeting or to join a meeting. Okay, so yeah, the first one, okay, let's uh, start with um, starting a meeting. Okay, so when you click on that, okay. okay, so when you click on that, it will bring you to the Google Meet um, web page. Okay, so right away, when you open your uh, Google Meet uh, conference, okay, it will show you your preview. So this is how it will look like. Uh, during your video conference. Okay. Now, on the right side, uh, you'll have um, two options to join now or to present. Okay. So, let's just uh, join now. Okay. So, when you open your uh, conference, okay, so the first um, pop-up window that will open will be your um, joining info. Okay. So, if you look at that closer, okay, that's actually a link to your Google Meet. Okay. So, when you share that, um, in all platforms, okay, Facebook, Messenger, Viber, and other places, it will, um, they will, um, the, the guests or the, the participants you've invited will be brought to your conference, okay? So, you can simply click on this icon, okay? And it will copy the um, uh, joining info, okay? There's also another option. You can also um, click on add people. Uh, and it will um, ask you to enter their emails. Okay, so if there's someone that you'd like to personally invite uh, or directly invite, you can actually enter their email here, and it will invite those people. Okay. Okay. Um, now, but of course, um, if you want to recall your details, okay, uh, on the lower left corner, you can go back to your details if you want to um, copy your joining info. Okay. Um, so, again, this is your uh, joining info. So, you can copy that anywhere and paste it anywhere. Um, now, if just in case um, someone is asking for a code, okay, because um, if you're joining um, uh, a, a, a Google Meet conference, okay, sometimes it's the code that's being asked. Okay? Basically, this is the code. Okay? So, just copy that and give it to them um, so that uh, they can en also enter your your class. You'll see that later uh, on how to use that um, code. Okay. Um, there's also an option for attachments. Okay. So basically, uh, earlier in our part one, when I discussed uh, Google Calendar, so when you create an event by a Google Calendar, um, Google automatically automatically creates a um, Google Meet conference for you. Okay. And if you attach documents there. Um, it will also be included in your conference so they, uh, your participants can view your documents here. Okay. So let's just uh, hide that. Okay. Now, on the center, okay, you have three options. Okay. So this is your mute and unmute button. Okay. Um, okay. 
Okay, and then uh, you, you, there's also the leave call button. Okay, so if you want to end and you want to leave the conference, you can also do that. Uh, this is your video um, uh, to turn off your camera or to turn on your camera. So we, you would notice if it's red, okay, it's um, uh, the audio is being turned off. If it's um, not red, okay, then it means that your audio is on. Okay, so please take note of that. Remind your students. And also remind yourselves, okay? Uh, same with the um, camera button. Um, if I turn that off, okay, it means that I'll be um, turning off my, my video. It's very useful, okay, sometimes uh, because um, turning off your, your video also means saving bandwidth. So if you are having problems in connection and there's no real, real sense on showing yourself right there, um, you can actually uh, turn off your video and just um, deliver via audio, okay? Okay, um, also here on the um, um, lower right corner, okay, you'll have your turn on ca um, captions. Okay, so Google Meet can also generate a um, captions for you if you want um, like uh, to augment your audio as well. If there are people who, has, who, are, who are having problems in terms of hearing and uh, you want to generate captions for them. Although the problem is that it only captures English and um, if you are um, using uh, Filipino at, at saka English, magkakaroon ng problem. Okay, so um, usually hindi ko naman ginagamit yung turn on caption. But if you want to use that, just uh, click on that uh, to turn on captions. Okay, um, beside the turn on caption button is your present now um, option. Okay, so you can actually also present um, certain features of your screen or your uh, window or your uh, Chrome tab. Okay, so if you click on that, uh, it will give you options, uh, three options. It's either you present um, your entire screen. It's very helpful when you're presenting your presentations like PowerPoint presentations or your keynote presentations. Okay, um, it can capture whatever you're showing on the screen. Um, if you're, for example, showing a document, you would also be able to uh, show that using a, your entire screen. Uh, if you want to show a particular window, you can also do that. Okay, so for example, you open one uh, Chrome tab window, you can actually also show the entire window only, not um, everything on your screen. You can choose a particular Chrome tab. Okay, so for example, let's um, choose that one. Okay, so when you click on that, Okay, it will give you options on which one you'd like to, sh to share. For example, I'm sharing my Gmail. Okay, so it will bring me to my Gmail and everyone in the conference will be able to, to uh, see this. And also notice on the um, um, upper right corner, upper left corner, there's a stop button. So anytime you'd like to, you want to stop uh, sharing that um, particular tab, you can actually click on that. Okay, so if I stop that, Okay, I'll go back to my conference, okay? Um, if you want to share your entire screen, you can also do that, okay? So, similar, um, uh, you'll be asked to choose kung ano yung gusto mong i-share. So, for example, this one, okay? Ano screen? Sometimes, meron kasi tayong mga split screen or iba't ibang mga screen na gusto mong ipakita. At uh, nakikita mo yung, kasi nakikita niyo yung lahat ng uh, screens ko, okay? Uh, and again, sa baba, uh, makikita mo sa baba, I stop sharing. Okay, you can simply click on that if you want to end your sharing. Okay, so click mo yan at tapos na ang sharing mo. Maaari mo ding i-click ang yung window. Um, so pat parang katulad din ng tab, okay, or your screen. Okay, so when you share that, it will share your entire window. Okay. So similar, um, Sa baba din, nandun pa rin yung stop sharing. So, anytime na tapos ka na mag-share, i-click mo lang yan para matapos yung sharing mo. Okay? Um, katabi ng present now button ay iba pang mga options or more uh, functions. Okay? So, first would be yung change layout. Okay? So, meron kang um, way to change the layout on how you view your participants. Okay? So, it's either a sidebar. So, basically, it um, it shows the, the one speaking and uh, other participants on the sidebar. Okay, you can also do highlight. Okay, um, so basically it highlights a person showing their video or presenting or uh, who are talking at the moment. And you can also have your tiled uh, view. Okay, so it will um, 
put them in a grid view just like in Zoom. Okay, but also there, there are limitations okay, um, to the number of people you can actually see in one um, space. Okay, so but I think Google is doing something about it. So we can expect um, some upgrades and some um, developments in that area. Although again, we'll be able to solve that later on using something else. Okay, hi. Okay, so uh, on the upper right, upper right corner, okay, you'll see here your list of participants. Okay, so if you click on that, okay, you'll be able to um, see um, your list of participants. Okay. Um, there's a special button here. I'll be discussing that later on, okay, when we go to the extensions, okay. And of course, you also have, just like in Zoom, you have chat, okay. So, very important, uh, I think, uh, is the use of chat, especially in a video conferencing, um, when you do not want to talk, your students to all talk together at the same time because it's going to be chaotic. You ask them to mute their microphones, okay? Uh, and then if they have questions, they just simply type in or they have comments, they simply type into the chat group, okay? Be careful with uh, monitoring and supervising the chat group so that uh, you can uh, maintain integrity in terms of your lessons, etc. Okay? Um, okay. And then, um, there's another button here, but it's a special button. Okay, we'll be explore, exploring that later on. Okay, now let's now switch okay, to um, joining a meeting. Okay, so when you want to join a meeting, uh, because we're the one, we're, we're, we're the host for this meeting. Okay, so let's now try how about joining someone else's meeting. Okay, so first let's um, end our call. So again, click the leave uh, call button. Okay, and it's going to ask you to um, rate, of course. Okay, and uh, this is very useful for me because uh, sometimes even if you don't want to leave the meeting, sometimes you're cut off from the meeting because of uh, internet connection. So actually, pwede mo yung balikan yung meeting nyo. Um, uh, I-click lamang a rejoin, okay? Um, para makabalik ka din sa meeting na yun, okay? So i-close natin yan. At pumalik tayo sa ating um, Gmail. At this time, i-click natin ang join a meeting. Okay, so click mo yan. Ngayon, hanapan ka ng code. Ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo kanina na nasa uh, joining um, info ninyo okay, sa inyong Google Conference. Okay? So, nag-set up ako ng isa pang um, Google Conference gamit ang isa ko pang device. Okay? So, i-type lamang natin dito um, ang ating um, code. Okay? So, basically, it's a series of letters uniquely created para sa inyong conference. Okay, so, i-click lamang natin yan para maka-join tayo sa isang meeting na ginawa ng isa pang uh, Gmail account user. Okay, so, this time, similar, you'll see your pre uh, preview at meron kang button na join now or present now. Okay, so, mag-join tayo. Okay. Okay, so, pag nag-join ka ng mga meeting or nag- uh, ay by default, okay, uh, naka-off ang microphone mo. So, please take note of that para hindi mo makalimutan na nagkasalta ka na pala pero wala kang audio. Okay? So, notice all, always the um, to toggle the audio button. Okay? Or the microphone button. Okay? Now, some of the problems that we have okay, um, <clears throat> in Google Meet had, uh, can be answered using extensions. Okay? So, uh, just like uh, earlier in my part one, you can actually access all your extensions via uh, Chrome Web Store. Um, so you just go there and you'll see all the extensions. Okay. Now, some of the extensions I downloaded okay, that will be helpful is one here. <coughs> on the, um, there's that uh, Apple icon here uh, in the upper right corner. Uh, it's called the Meet Attendance. Okay. So Meet Attendance basically is a extension that um, captures uh, or creates a list of your participants. Okay, so what it does is that it um, creates uh, automatically creates um, a Google Sheet for you that takes um, the name of your participants plus uh, the timestamp for when they enter the, the the conference. Okay, so you'll see it here. That's the button here. Okay, so when you click on that one. Um, you want to add basically when it this means that you're adding a, a Google Sheet. Um, when you toggle this button, okay, it means that um, attendance checking and recording is on. Okay, so just uh, make sure it's green. Okay, 
So it will automatically generate a Google Sheet and put it in your Google Drive. Okay, so you'll see it there after your meeting. Okay, so that's one because sometimes it's hard to monitor who's in, who's not, who's late, who's absent in your uh, conference. So that tool will be uh, extension that would be very helpful. Makatulong yun sa ating lahat. Okay. Um, second na extension na dinownload ko or nilagay ko sa aking um, uh, Chrome ay para sa Google Meet ay ang Google Meet Grid View. Okay, so kaya that's why meron ako extra button dito na hindi basta basta nakikita sa iba pang mga Google Meet um, uh, web page. Okay. So dito, pwede kang pumili ng na, naka-grid view kayo. Okay, so pag clinic mo yan, pag na, naka-block, ibig sabihin hindi ka naka-grid view, Ito ay naka-grid view. Uh, wala lamang tayong extra participants. That's why um, hindi tayo, hindi, hindi natin mapakita yung buong grid view. Pero pag marami tayo, for example, you're like 10, 20, makikita mo na naka-grid view kayo gamit ito. You have several options. Like, for example, only show participants with video. Okay, so kung gusto mo na yung mga may video lang and yung mga naka-off ang video, hindi mo sa, isasama sa grid view mo. Pwede mong i-highlight yung speakers para pag nagsasalita sila sa loob ng grid view, nakikita mo pa rin kung sino nagsasalita kasi i-highlight niya yung um, rectangular outline ng kanyang video. Uh, include yourself in the grid. Okay, so that's what, because in the usual um, Google Meet, ka, kapag nakatiled kayo, hindi ka kasama dun sa um, grid view. And dito, pwede mo isama yung sarili mo. Uh, enable grid view by default. So, pwede mo rin piliin na every time mag-open ka ng Google Meet, ay i-open niya in a grid view agad yan. Maganda rin dito is that kapag nasa klase ka, mag-monitor mo yung mga sudyante mo in full view at hindi mo kailangang maglipat-lipat na mga pages. Kasi yun ang magiging mahirap sa atin kapag magkakahiwalay na pages natin, tingitingnan ang ating um, uh, mga sudyante. Although, limitation to kapag mobile ang gamit mo dahil hindi ka pwede mag-add ng extension sa mobile. Okay. So, ito ay para lang sa gamit ng laptop. Yes. Meron ka um, pangatlo. Uh, this one is the dual left extension. Okay. Basically, uh, you can use your um, okay, uh, it, it can split your window. Okay. So, when you click on that, okay, um, you can choose how to split your window, okay? Okay, so basically, you can, will be able to see um, other um, parts of your computer while on Google Meet. Okay, so for example, you are presenting or taking notes, okay? You can actually do that, okay, using this um, extension, okay? Um, perhaps one of the coolest things, okay, because it's usually not in your... Um, uh, your your Google Meet is that there are no reactions, okay? Especially if you want your students to turn off their your their audio, um, how about their uh, their reactions to what you're saying or what you're presenting, okay? So th there's an extension called the Nod, okay? So that uh, thumbs up icon there, right? Um, on the upper right corner, is um, an extension that will give you this, okay? So on the upper uh, lower, um, sorry. Uh, upper left corner, you'll see extra buttons or reaction buttons. Okay, so here, uh, I can give a thumbs up, okay, that will appear below here, okay. I can give a thumbs down, okay, or a, a virtual clap, okay, or a high, okay, or this uh, emoji icons and add uh, this another emoji icon, okay. So your students, even if they're not, um, they're on mute, okay, they can still give reactions to whatever you're talking about or etc. okay. They can also do raise their hand, okay, here. If so they click this one, um, they can, uh, you can actually, they can um, call your attention if they want to um, say something, okay, and then you can ask them to turn on or unmute their audio now, okay, so, okay. Um, the last one is this uh, monkey icon right here, okay, that's actually a, um, your push on button, um, push to talk bot uh, extension. So basically, it empowers your space bar uh, from your keyboard, okay, um, to um, um, mute or unmute your conference. Okay, so for example, if you so that 
you don't forget because sometimes it's hard to locate your mute and unmute button. So by simply using your spacebar, you can actually already um, unmute your button. Okay, so uh, there are more extensions um, available in um, Chrome Web Store. So you can check it out and add whatever you want or you need in order to um, capitalize and uh, maximize the use of Google Meet for your classroom. Okay, so some reminders lang um, before we end our session for um, our Google Meet. Okay, um, is that uh, when we um, use Google Meet, okay, the first one is that make sure that you limit your video conferencing between 15 to 30 minutes. Okay. Um, the attention span of our students will be uh, of great consideration. Plus, uh, the screen time would also be dragging if it's longer than 30 minutes. Um, so, and I suggest that when you use Google Meet, um, use it for instruction. So, if, for example, you are showing um, ex, uh, or giving instructions for a particular activity, you can uh, use Google Meet to give the instruction so that um, it's clear. Okay. Um, alignment, okay, you can actually use also Google Meet uh, in order to align your activities, um, expectations, and other things in your class. Okay? Um, or Catalyst, if, for example, you know that uh, your students need a boost or a little sense of uh, motivations, you can actually um, also um, uh, use Google Meet in order to um, motivate them or help them, whatever you're you, um, whatever they need, or you can give feedback, okay, um, for your um, students, okay. And of course, the last one maybe is that um, in order for Google Meet to be a, an effective tool for education, you set routines in using it, okay, because if uh, your students will not have like discipline or routines or rules in using your video conferencing. Um, tool, this video conferencing tool, it would be hard to manage them inside this uh, digital um, space. Okay, so I think that would be it. Okay, if you have other questions, okay, uh, comments or suggestions on how to use um, Google Meet for education, do let us know um, and let's help each other um, in learning about online distance learning using Google tools. Thank you so much, and uh, again, maraming salamat sa panonood at uh, pakikinig sa webinar series na ito. Thank you so much, Sir Franco, for um, that precise discussion and easy to understand flow of um, lecture and demonstration. This will be of great help not only to our teachers or to our parents who are watching now, but most of all to our learners who will be having online classes soon for this school year. And thank you for sharing that because it will really help us not only in organizing our events, but we also learn how to prioritize different commitments. So mga teach, may mga pagkakataon talaga na napaka rami nating um, schedule na naka-line up, ang dami nating kailangan gawin, iba-ibang commitments. So, nakaka-overwhelm. And it's helpful if there will be apps or tools that would help us in organizing these things and nagre-remind sa atin. So, we encourage everyone to maximize the use of Google Calendar and even the Google Meeting. And this is also to give some tips, no? So, kung kayo ay nag-open ng inyong Gmail account sa in yung laptop, pwede rin po ninyong isynchronize itong mga accounts na to sa inyong mobile phones at iba pang um, gadget or device. Para at least, kahit hindi mo na i-open yung laptop mo, pwede yung mga reminders nagpa-pop up na lang dyan sa uh, mobile phones. ba Kasi mas handy naman eh. Mas lagi nating um, na-access na kaagad yung cellphone, yung mga smaller gadget na meron tayo. Kesa naman, um, palagi nating i-open pa yung laptop. So, para mas nakakatulong din sa atin na may, ano tayo, may program tayo sa utak natin, naka, matatrack natin kung ano yung mga kailangan natin gawin for um, a certain week, for a certain day, at hindi tayo nalolost track. And, thank you for joining us. At lalabas na po sa screen yung ating registration link. 
Now mga teach, yung registration link po na yan, mag-open pa mamayang 7pm. So, again, tingnan po mabuti yung registration link. I-note na po yan or screenshot na po. So, after nyo pong manote yung registration link na naka-flash sa ating screen, um, i-reserve nyo po muna yan, no? Kasi bubuksan natin yan at 7pm tonight. So, ihanda rin po ang inyong mga notebook at pen para inote yung mga magiging task ninyo for this webinar workshop series in order for you to get a digital certificate of participation. So, dahil ito pong um, episode 12 natin ay output-based para makakuha po kayo ng certificate of participation, inote po, ito ang magiging um, task ninyo.